Today, the Saugeen Ojibwe Nations will be making an introductory statement and opening the proceedings with a prayer. Chief Root, Chief Shigano, welcome. The floor is yours. Kide moškos dažnakas sagi nang dovan džaba. Ino pige mako nashing ming ben džaba ge evid bemet. My name is Chief Brennan Root from Chippewas of Sagi, and I'm joined by Chief Arlene Jigano from. Chippewas of Nawash. Together we form Saugeen Ojibwe Nation of the Sulking Territory. I would like to open these proceedings up with a prayer to show respect for the Creator and the guidance for everyone. Remain seated. Shamna do Gwachmago and how won't be a can won't be in Midwijuk. How when I gave week warm jugas what, how gave when a wind sodom, wind sodom the modest chicken what came on pee. Gwachin and them guinea how won't be coaching in Midwijuk, Jenna. How give me the mong and in with Puana. How gave Pogon give Miss Gaswatch was it. How gave Kimon Gum what gave cook. How gave Kimmin <laughs> Mon <laughs> Shock <laughs> Shemnato, Wajmogo, and Mumpige, Wind Satamat, you in a care. Gay Nishnabe, Jetebo, and them on the gay mods of Ngamija Gazat. Migachki Migret. Can I go over Nishnabe? Gay Mumpiva mods at Wim Nab mods at K. Mumpi and that Abadesh K. Wen. We quam Dunga, Mumpi and that. Mumpige, we be that. Shamnato and Wachmago won't be. How long over by I and Gagi won't be. How we can own but often peak and then meta budget and an ebudget and Nigan Gilda, a gorgeous Satam Wat can go. Not more gay in Argyok. Migachka canaga Kyok Mukan mine yak as a jerk. Gay no. Jigishnuato da Axiom Gong K no Nigijita wat as go in a maja wat K when it comes so wat Nina Kyagi in Wetaja Debo and the Mung Mimonagan just a going Mung Pim Kayo Wavana went Sotamung Wavana we Debo and the Mung was a quam des young Kago won't be with me guys young I won't pee wee. Winch and Najabadek muds when Nikia Gijinus go semen. 
Šiemenē to lai nav gaķi mūsu un pīgēgī vēl vienu vienātu mākē un viņu cata matka negaigu un pīgē āčak. Vēl vienu gēju un pīgē viņu nabadē nekā negaigu. Kē viņu āgu endāvāt. Kē viņu āna kā viņu ap madu zot. Hā un pīgē nav vēl man dēnē un un dangē. Un gaķi mākā negaigu vēl vienu. Hā, cata man gēgī. Hau gai, viņš ir namāji, viņš ir gaidžam gai mava šemeto, eb zindāgēt. Kei gai ne tam pī. Eb gai čo viki, čo to viņi viki dien vēne, viņi cat tā gai. Viņi gai čo viņi tam man pī gai ne, šemeto gai mī žang man da, ke salkin nišnabēk, kā bai kom da mūt. Gai čo ne tam jau gai mīn gai jau, Un pīgaini vēl kom džagēn. Un pīgaini gai un kvītājiem. Mī gāc šiem ne to jokana, ēpēt to to jaun. Mī gāc šiem ar žinātam un jaun. Mī gāc šiem tam kanagēgo. Aha, odraškai man da kanagēgo. Aha, kad jādgai. Aha, gai. Vēl ne to, kad tagad mām tam un kanagēgo mādzo. Mī gāc. The prayer of them chairs to ask God to help us understand why we are here as human beings on Mother Earth and for us to look after Mother Earth for the reason we were put here on Mother Earth. To be able to look after the air that we breathe to be able to look after the food that we get from the ground, to be able to give thanks for the clean water that's made for us to drink, and that it is our responsibility to keep all of those three basic items available for us to the best of our ability. And to give thanks for the territory that we as the sulking people were given to look after. I gave thanks for that. And I welcome everybody that comes to the territory to enjoy the territory to live on so that they are able to function as the human being that they were put on Mother Earth for. I gave thanks for everything that I could think of this morning for those people who are in hospitals that are sick and for those other people around that are not here. So we give thanks for everything that we are given, whether it be good or bad, but to also understand that our belief in the Spirit is one and that God is our Creator. We also sang some songs and we also had a pipe outside this morning, also uh, of the same nature to give thanks and to give that recognition to the Creator of the teachings that were given to us to be able to show example but also to be able to experience that jurisdictional right that was given to us by the Creator to give prayer through the use of the tobacco and through the song. So today we are here with members of our people and as the case was a year ago our communities come here today as both a demonstration of support and strength but also out of deep concern, a concern that decisions that are being made today will impact us forever, a concern that the matters we are discussing in these proceedings are serious and without precedent in the history of our community, our territory, or this country for that matter. Finally, a belief that these decisions cannot be made 
without our central involvement and participation. Again, we come here today with tough but open minds and deep concern of our future. And again, we ask all those here today to share with the same mindset. Now I would like to introduce fellow chief Arlene Chigano and ask her to say a few words. Thank you, Chief. Uh, Arlene Chigano, Chief for the Chippewas of Nawash First Nation. As I said almost exactly one year ago, the possibility of the DGR project in the heart of our traditional territory is of the greatest significance to our people and future. Our participation in this process over the years and our engagement with OPG has been for the sole purpose of ensuring that this project does not create new risks for our people, our territory, or our future. As people, we have a duty to protect our lands, waters, so that our future generations can continue to rely on the territory to sustain themselves spiritually, culturally, physically, and economically. As chief, I have the duty to ensure that this fundamental right of our people is respected and that our voices are heard. As you have heard, OPG and SON have committed to each other to engage in a cooperative and collaborative process to allow our communities to understand the DGR project and determine whether our communities support the project. We have also agreed to consider the project now proposed in a broader context of the nuclear issue facing our territory, historically, today, and running into the future. SON has been clear from day one that any plan for dealing with low and intermediate level nuclear waste must be part of a comprehensive resolution of nuclear issues within our territory. If not, it will only act to add to our problems rather than resolve them. The panel determined last fall that it did not yet have enough information on which to make its recommendations for the project. We agree. There are still many outstanding questions. OPG has now provided more information. Some of the new information provided helps our communities understand the project better. But we must be honest. There are still many unanswered questions and our concerns have, yet, have not yet calmed. We still have confidence that we or the panel has full information on the scope of the project or its potential risks. We are here again for two more weeks of the hearings. To repeat the words of Chief Root, we will keep an open mind and continue to consider the issues seriously. But we will also test what we hear. It is our duty to our people, the territory, and our future. I wish to leave with the same thought that we opened these proceedings with a year ago. The DGR project is a forever project. If it goes ahead, it will forever alter the physical, spiritual land landscape of our territory. It will become a part of the history of the Saugeen Ojibwe people for all times. I ask that we all take a minute to understand this and to hear it in our mind over the next coming week. Miigwech, thank you for the opportunity to speak. Thank you very much, Chief Root, Chief Chicano. Appreciate your remarks.